Okay, what we have here is what I'm calling the Super Turbo Battery Charger and really it's just Laser Saber's 3.0 version of the Super Dual Ringer and uh, this version is because uh, a couple of the guys were talking on Energetic Forum about these these little pieces here with the holes through the middle um, that you get on old computer monitors for the wiring and whether they'd be any good stacked up to create a ferrite piece. Well this is four of them and I've wound 600 turns uh, under the bottom layer and 150 turns on the top and I've got a C4439 transistor there but I've also now put a coil there that came from a floppy disk drive one of the coils and one of them with an LED and that'll come on when I put power so using the rejuvenated drill pack connect up there and you can see there that the lights come on so that's a good indicator to know that it's running fine so uh, from these are the two output lines here and um, we do get the one wire lighting of bulbs so there we are that's that one watt bulb there I've just got a AV plug there and a piece of wire and uh, there we are comes on quite alright but that's not its main purpose what its main purpose is is for charging batteries and I found out this is ridiculously seemingly ridiculously efficient <laughs> so here we have a uh, thermometer digital thermometer and you can see that well oh, they just tilt it just about see there we go 76 degrees the batteries are completely shot on this so what I'm going to do is using the two outputs I'm going to give it a shot charging up about what 15 seconds a piece and we'll see if that comes back so let's take the batteries out See, it says 1.85, 1.87 already. Oh, the light goes off when it is charging batteries, which shows that all the power is going through and into the battery that's being charged. 1.926. There we are. It's coming back down again. Now, what I've noticed with charging a fair few that used to be sulfated and everything, NICADs and NIMHs. Uh, everything's worked which has been really surprising is that the voltage will climb and then go back down again and maybe a little related to the SSG where you might see the voltage go right up and then come back down but um, we're now 1.933 okay so that's about what 15 20 seconds let's disconnect uh, wait a minute take the power off is the easiest way so we can still see what's going on with the battery and it will go down as it settles and it should settle to I don't know 1.4 somewhere like that but with less of a do here we'll disconnect this one put that magnet back on and take the other one there we are and the other side oh and this one is showing as you can see 0.986 so now we'll plug this in. There we are. And we've come up already. Well, this one's gone past two volts. And it should come down a bit, I hope. And then go back up again. Maybe not. I don't know. These are uh, standard alkalines in any case. So I'll give it a few seconds like this. No idea what the amp drawer is yet, neither. But there we are. That'll probably do us. 2.1 volts. And disconnect. And here we are with the voltage coming back down. So, right, the next thing is to put them back in and see what happens. So, there's that one. Let's stay to this. 
Well, as I say, no idea it's going to work or not. Take this one off. Wah! It's a good sign. And there we are. Look at that. Rejuvenated batteries. So there we are. That's a bit of uh, bit of live proof there. So here we are. This is this. Uh, this does mean that the ferrite pieces do do a cracking job, and they also uh, enable the rapid charging there of all batteries. Okay. Thanks for watching.